Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is James. I'm the co-founder of Antique and the founder of Timeline Vintage. Um, I'm just doing this video just so you can get to know a bit about me, about where I started, um, how I got into the industry. Um, it's only going to be a short video. It's the first video that I've done, um, but I'm hopefully going to be doing more in the future uh, about interiors, about tips, becoming a vintage dealer, uh, about furniture, um, different items that I find. Uh, so if you are into vintage or antiques or interiors, um, hit subscribe uh, and hopefully the videos that I release you'll enjoy. Um, so yeah, so a bit about me. Um, I started in this industry um, well, I got into this industry when I was about 12. Uh, I started through um, pocket watches. I collected pocket watches. Um, I think I ended up with about 25 or so. Um, and that's how sort of I sort of entered into this world, I suppose. Um, a few years went by. Uh, I still visited fairs and things. Um, but my career sort of really started when I was 16. Um, I, when I was 16, I joined uh, Whitaker & Biggs. Um, which is a local auction house to us, and I started as a porter. Um, and if you are interested in this industry and you want to learn more, um, there isn't a better place to learn than an auction room. It's the only place where you can handle, you can uh, talk to new dealers who've been in the trade for years, you can um, value things, and you can really get to know the, whole, the industry as a whole. Um, that's how I learned sort of my knowledge is quite broad and that is literally through working at an auction um so if you do get a chance 100% um start out as a porter which is what i did um and you'll learn more than you can care to imagine and you're getting paid for it um bonus so uh from there i then um started to auctioneer uh, auctioneering was when i sort of realized that that is 100% the career that i wanted to have for the rest of my life um in this industry it's uh, a real buzz to watch in here. Um, not many people do it. It's a little bit of a sort of niche um, career, I suppose. Uh, but I loved it. Um, the way that it sort of happens, quite quite funny. I was literally a porter and. Uh, a big influence of my Derek, Derek Tor, he was auctioneering and he literally said, uh, James is going to have a go now in front of over about 100 people. Um, so obviously you can imagine face pale um, and was absolutely bricking it. But as soon as I got up there, I loved it. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, and whenever I do get a chance to watch in here now, I always do, which isn't often because I'm quite busy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... From there, I then uh, met a good friend of mine called Joel, uh, Joel Poole. He's the owner of Populux Boutique and Populux Home Boutique. And that's how I got into mid-century design um, and learned what I sort of know now. Um, he's a really, really no knowledgeable guy. Um, he knows a lot about what he sells and he has a passion. He's always been into mid-century, like his home's full on decked out um, with mid-century pieces. But yeah, he's a great guy. Um, head over to Populux Home Boutique, his website, and you can see some of the painted furniture that he does because it's really, really good. Um, you won't find much better out there. Um, but yeah, he taught me a lot. He taught me how to restore furniture, uh, what to look for, um, different designers and things like that. So yeah, um, it was a really good year working with Joel. Um, and then from there, I then started Timeline Interiors. Uh, I was, when I started, I didn't really have a niche. I sort of just bought what I... Uh, light, um, which was sort of ranging from George and Chester drawers all the way to 1960s sideboards. Like I didn't really have like a um, a specific uh, decade that I went for. It was just what I liked, really, um, which was fun, definitely. Um, from there, I then started uh, Antique with my uh, business partner, Hayden Morris, um, who I've known since I was about this big and four years old. Uh, we grew up in the same village um, and we started it in December 2017. Uh, it's a marketplace for sellers who sell vintage and antique furniture or furnishings. And we've got everything from curios on there all the way to Danish dining tables. We've got a really nice mix from a massive amount of um, sellers all across the UK. Um, so yeah, working with those guys has been absolutely awesome. I think we've got we've got about 55 sellers on there at the minute. Um, so yeah, if you want to take a look, I'll include a, a link to the website in this video as well. Um, 
but yeah, going forward, I'm going to be releasing as many videos as I possibly can. Uh, like I say, this is my first one, um, so hopefully they'll get better. Um, but yeah, so if you hit subscribe, I'll be releasing, like I say, interiors, tips, um, the know-hows in the trade and where to start and how to get into this amazing industry. Like, if you... If you haven't been in this industry before, like it's the best industry you can be in. There's not another industry where you can say that you will never ever know everything. Like it's impossible to know everything in this industry. And if anyone tells you that they know everything, they're a liar. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so hit subscribe um, and I'll be releasing as many videos as I can. Thank you.